most people that go on the ventilators uh, don't come off alive. So my name is Benjamin Wilner. I live in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm a respiratory therapist at Cook County Health. So we tend to work with the underserved population, the un uninsured, um, most people that are hard on their luck for the most part. So a respiratory therapist is a branch of the healthcare team that works with patients that are having pulmonary issues. So basically they can't breathe well. And ever since COVID started, nobody can breathe well. So everyone's coming in and uh, we're with every single COVID patient that's struggling. To breathe. So if you actually put a tube in down in their throat, uh, it allows the air, the oxygen to get to their bloodstream easier. And as far as the long-term effects, there, there has to be some because these people are going to have some serious scarring of their lungs because this is just ripping them apart. And it's not just the virus itself, it's the struggling to breathe, which is going to hurt the muscles around their lungs. And then the lungs themselves are working really, really hard to get the oxygen from the air to the bloodstream. And there's just, uh, there has to be long-term effects, not only on the lungs, but the heart as well. So right now, feels like we're starting uh, to climb a mountain here. Every day, it just keeps getting worse and worse. There's more people coming in and sicker people coming in. Um, the majority of people that come into my hospital come in at the very last second. So they'll come in and wait and wait and wait and wait. And because they're, you know, uninsured, they're worried to come to the hospital. So when they get there, they're incredibly sick. And we're seeing multiple dozens of patients a day coming in that are uh, in respiratory failure. I'm seeing from mid 20s all the way to the 80s. Obviously, the older you are, the more uh, the mortality is going to be higher. But young people die too. And I'm talking like in their 30s. I see I've seen it many times. So there's just one instance of my job that always sticks out in my mind. It's so before you intubate somebody, you totally uh, knock them out, make them unconscious, and whatnot. And before that, we'll have them call their families and their FaceTime and their family being like, okay, I'll talk to you after um, this tube comes out and whatnot. And they hang up and they look at you, they're like, am I going to be okay? And you're like, yeah, you're gonna be fine. And then they go to sleep. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, that is the last time that guy is ever going to talk. It just, I don't know, it's tough to think about. And it happens all the time. And once you've seen it once, you know you know the person that's not gonna come off the ventilator. Well, for the people that think it's fake, I would say come check out our morgue. It's overflowing with people and it's not like this year round. It's unbelievable. Uh, if you don't wanna wear a mask, you're, be you're being a dick.